430, Alaska Airlines named a new 16-member Hawaii Community Advisory Board today. It's a major development in a two-year merger with Hawaiian Airlines announced last month. Mahia Lani Richardson joins us with the latest. Mahia. Well, Ash, Alaska Airlines says this community advisory board is to deepen its local ties. We spoke with some of the new advisory board members who say they're grateful that the community's voice will have a seat at the table. Last month, an historic merger announcement that Alaska Airlines will purchase Hawaiian Airlines in a $1.9 billion deal. This morning, Alaska named its 16-member Community Advisory Board with Hawaii leaders from nonprofit, education, healthcare, business, tourism, and agriculture. They recognizing the importance of Native Point perspective to be in the decision-making process. The airline CEO says it's had an advisory board in Alaska for four decades, and the airline has served Hawaii for 16 years. I think we're there to be a sounding board. Um, I'm an Alaska member and a Hawaiian member. Advisory board members say consumers want details on the transition for mileage members and credit card users. I'm really excited. I think the more we can make it's sort of seamless, particularly for families like ours that do utilize the domestic U.S. continent routes as well as inter-island routes. I think there's a lot of potential if they do this transition correctly. I think there's a lot of anxiety. You know, this is a big move. There's a lot of families connected to Hawaiian Airlines, the brand, but also employed by Hawaiian Airlines. So finding a balance where we don't impact um, you know, the employees, I think, is important. In 2021, Ohana by Hawaiian pulled out of Lanai and Molokai, leaving only Mokulele Airlines. Alaska Air's Community Advisory Board has leaders from Lanai and Molokai eager to represent the rural community. It is not just um, difficulties uh, getting scheduled a flight, but it's delays in flights. It's also getting onto the airplane, especially elderly, their balance challenges, they have balance challenges and going up the stairs and then you have to bend, you know, to get into the seats. It, it's been a barrier for people. In a statement, Alaska Airlines said, despite our inability to serve Molokai and Lanai, currently due to runway limitations, we wanted to ensure that the voices of these two island communities are represented. Now, Alaska Airlines Hawaii Community Advisory Board will have its first meeting next month. The airline says the merger process, including federal approvals and union agreements, could take two and a half years. I'm Mahia Lani Richardson, Hawaii News Now. Thank you.